Um, now this next issue for employers that pay on piece rate, um, the this bill was passed, AB 1513. It's effective January 1st, 2016. Um, it changes the labor code uh, and adds new requirements on employers who pay on a piece rate basis. Now, what's the definition of piece rate pay? That's a good question. Surprisingly, the law doesn't define it. So um, the, it could um, apply to a lot of different industries, and I've got a few examples here um, of what it, it could uh, employers need to review if they are paying employees based on any of these these um, scenarios. So basically for employees paid per item manufactured, employees paid per item fixed or repaired, for example auto mechanics working at a, um, a shop, sometimes that's the way they get paid. Um, uh, also employees paid per mile driven. A lot of trucking companies really need to take a careful look at this to make sure that um, this per mile driven is going to um, take into account th the requirements under this law. And also it could potentially apply, apply to employees paid on a commission only basis for sales. Um, and the new law requires that the employers who are paying this employees on a piece rate basis need to separate out and record on the employee's pay stubs rest breaks and pay them for rest breaks separately and recovery periods. Recovery periods are for employees who work outside so that they don't get heat exhaustion. Um, you have to account for those. And then the law also defines this non-productive time. So if you have employees working on a piece rate basis, if they're waiting around for um, like a car to come in to repair or material to come in to make whatever they're making, this non-productive time needs to actually be uh, potentially recorded and paid out uh, separately uh, on the employee's pay stub. So what the law is really getting to is that you know these rest breaks and non-productive time when the employee is not actually in the process of producing whatever they're getting paid for, that needs to be paid for separately and it needs to be paid at least at the minimum wage or the it's going to be the higher of minimum wage or the regular rate of pay for the um, the time period. And now it leads to the next question, how do you calculate what the employee's regular rate of pay is if they are paid on a piece rate basis? And I have the formula up on this side slide and the employer needs to um, go through and calculate um, this regular rate of pay. It's pretty close to how you calculate the regular rate of pay for overtime purposes, but you do get to exclude the rest um, or recovery periods from the calculation, and, and it's on a work week basis. Now, this non-productive time is a new concept that the law set out as well, and I put up the definition uh, what the law sets out for non-productive time, and it's anything that basically when the employee is under the employer's control, and, uh, so employers need to pay attention to this and um, realize that now they've got to pay the employees this non-productive time as well separately and record that. So it creates some new obligations for employers. Um, this law, for the, if you're paying the employees on a piece rate basis, and it's a very detailed law. Uh, I could spend an hour talking about this alone. So, um, the quick overview, just to flag the issue for a lot of the employers on the on the call to make sure that they uh, are aware of this going forward. Um, and with that, I want to. Um, let me see this last slide. Uh, again, the pay stub is going to have to be updated for employers paying on the piece rate basis. You're going to have to list the total hours of other non-productive time, the rate of compensation for non-productive time, and then the gross wages paid for non-productive time. And this goes for the, the rest breaks and the recovery periods as well. So, uh, and this needs to go into place by January 1st of 2016. So if you do have piece rate employees, this is something you need to get on right away. Make sure the payroll company is going to be able to track this and update um, the pay stub um, here within a month.